I was born and raised in Saudi Arabia. Sports was not an accessible thing growing up. I don't want to say it was frowned upon, but it was definitely not acceptable uh, for the culture. Why, why does a lady need to go out and exercise? She should be staying at home, taking care of the kids and of her family and doing her obligations. My neighbor, who was American, would go back to her country, which was the US, and she would be a part of the scouts. She would come back and tell me how, you know, she would, she would show me all her push-ups and sit-ups, and I'm like, how come I don't have that? Growing up in schools, whenever we saw PE on the schedule, oh yeah, we're just gonna paint our nails, oh yeah, we're just gonna grab some food. It was the class that we would take as our break. But I was attracted to being active, so whenever there was, we would play volleyball, we'd play like relay, I was fast. It has been very difficult to take up my interest in sports because it's always been a one-man show, or let's say a one-female show. The internet wasn't very common back then either, so it was a lot of Jane Fonda. But then, yeah, I started off watching Jane Fonda videos and CDs and I just built onto that. And then I would go and attend aerobics classes. There was one lady who was very, very, very inspiring for me. She was one of the pioneers in the fitness scene in Saudi Arabia. Uh, she would come in and she would always have her own style. And then I would be the little teacher's pet standing right behind her, memorizing all her moves, writing them down, going back home, because I had a vision that I wanted to be like her and I wanted to teach and I wanted to move. I've started CrossFit in 2012. That was my first exposure to it in Dubai. There are no CrossFit boxes in Saudi Arabia for females um, or well, there was none. Now we have about maybe three. So I would have to fly out for the weekend to Dubai, get my dose of CrossFit, try to learn as much stuff as I can and then go back to Saudi Arabia and live on everything that I've written down for a good three, four months, practice all by myself. I had no access to Olympic bars or bumper plates or anything. Um, I just had to you know, manage with what I've had. Up until they offered the first CrossFit L1 in Dubai and I hopped right onto it. I did it and I came back and I was the first certified CrossFit coach in female in Saudi Arabia. I discovered OPEX through a lot of self-doubt. This is where it started with. I started disliking how my progress was going. I, I realized that I was going a little bit round in circles. I was getting a little achy joints. You know, if I'm fit, maybe my body can handle it, but my clients can't handle it. After a lot of research, I came around OPEX. It sounded like it wasn't CrossFit, but the moves looked like CrossFit, so they still had all the cool moves to it. The difference that OPEX has brought to me as a coach, I, I firmly believe that we are all different. So why are we coming in here and training exactly the same way? And OPEX has just showed me the importance of applying that when people do walk in through my door. Having a CCP coach was uh, was an added way of me learning how you can be more self-confident. Growing up in Saudi Arabia, women are not encouraged to speak, they're not encouraged to be loud, they're not encouraged to be dominant. And once girls have started training, you can see them just carry themselves differently, speak differently, their voices are getting louder and it's so rewarding to watch that because you've had it in you. We're all born with that. We just don't tip into it until we really unlock that door.